All right, guys, I'm back. As you can see, I said in the end of the last video, I was going to put the transmission back in the chassis. So there we are with that. So tonight we're going to work on the rear axle. It feels pretty beefy. I mean, I'm sure it's not a $100 axle, but I'm sure it's going to do the job. So let's uh, get right in on it. What do we need? What do we need? Honestly, this is the first time I've looked at it. So we're going to pull off the hexes, pull the pins, hex, and pin. We're going to Take this clamp. I think these are called clamping. Not a hundred clamping ends or clamping something. Excuse me if I'm a little bit out of breath. I just got done working out and I, I said let me go jump on the video right after working out. My cameraman went for dessert. I'm skipping dessert, so. <laughs> All right. So that comes off, and the axle comes out with it. I'm going to try to left and right. Right and left, whichever way. Okay, there's no bearing in there. There's a bearing there. Let's see. If you've noticed with the transmission, I replaced all the bearings and that's a bushing. Well, glad we did that. The bearings on the shaft. Pushing, I mean. Bushing, bushing. Hate the bushings. Okay. This one's a little weird. You can see, like most uh, big trucks, but no, it's got, it's got it. It's got like a pumpkin, but you can change the shaft tubes. It's interesting. All right. Don't want to lose anything. This is my first time taking it apart with you, so we will all be surprised by what's inside. I skimmed the, uh, the manual just to give me an idea of what's inside. My memory. <laughs> My memory's no good. Okay. That is dry, let me tell you. Looks like all 1.5s. Oof, this has not been taken apart. This might be original. Original. Yeah, I don't think this has ever been apart. I don't know. So we're going to see together. <clears throat> it 
at this point I I wish I had a 1.5 I can stick in the drill but I'd be breaking my rule it's interesting I don't know what's going to come apart on this <laughs> Oop, I dropped it. <laughs> Trying to get some torque on that uh, screw. I literally came flying out of my hand. I'm trying to do it so you guys can see. one there. Did not look like there was a bolt there. But there was. Covered in look like cobwebs. <laughs> really weird stuff. Uh, now, I think this model came out probably about four years ago. So, maybe four or five. So, I mean, this all, this all could very well be original. Very, very interesting. Cross bracing. Take the bracing off that uh, that holds the actual tubes. Let's take one of the axle tubes off. Let's see what we get. Try to keep all these bolts in separate piles. And let me know what you think if uh, the sound is any better. I got the uh, wireless mic on. You buy it and it says it doesn't need any software you've got to download anything I did it and it didn't work so then I contacted the manufacturer and I said it doesn't work and I send it back and get another and then they say don't send it back we'll just send you another so that's, that's fine I don't, I'm not looking for a second one what happened was what happened was the uh, it does need software that is strange I'm gonna say does this split that does not split so I'll take the other side off a little different than uh, my monster truck axles all sorts of nasties came out of it though mud That's why I don't think it's ever been taken apart. Okay. There we go. How does this come apart? Hmm. I see. You have to take this side.
Okay. Now we're, now we're there. The cover's going to come off. Just like that. Look at that rusty piece of crap. Whew. That is some old nasty old nasties. Let me get her a clean. Look how nasty before you wipe there. There's the dirt and it actually cleans up nice. There's a locker inside. Yep, I can see it. If you look inside, there's a locker. And if you put that in there, nothing. That turns, if it was uh, geared, you would have uh, two, four bevel gears inside there. And it, it would go through and you would, this side would twist in the opposite direction. But we're locked. There's no, no sense of uh, taking that apart. But what we will do, We'll wipe everything off and give it a good amount of grease. Get all, all the dirt out of there. Okay. My apple uh, cutting knife. Apples, apples. Try to get grease all the way around. There don't got to be tons. I'm sure once you start rolling it, it will smear. Smear. Okay, now you're probably screaming right now. Bearings, put the bearings on. Yes. I, I missed it for a second. Bearings on. Okay. Housing. Give it a little wipe down. There we go. Put it back together. I don't think it matters what side it came off, left or right, but I'm pretty sure it came off that side. So, we'll start putting it back together. Okay, I'm going to try to go in reverse order and how I took it out, except I want to do, I want to do the tubes last, I still got to clean them a little bit. Okay, there's that, those four.
this is going to pull this housing together tight. There it is. Don't over, don't over tighten it. I'm sure you can strip it out. You know, just turn it until it gets tight. If you go any more, you will strip it, and then you'll have to buy a whole new housing, and God only knows if it's even available. Yeah. Come on, get in there. And those who know me personally, this is, I do, I build and repair stuff at work all day long. So I'm not, a, I'm not afraid of uh, it breaking. I'm more afraid of being able to get the parts. There we go. Hurry up, and my hands are getting tired. There's that. Okay. Let's wipe these suckers down. I'm going to look at these. Is there left and right? No, I think they're identical. Okay. And I want to say this goes over there. Mm. Nope. That goes like that which means if that goes like that it's got it's got wear on the on the bottom so I know that's the bottom side and the side that was under the screw nowhere okay I hope the camera's getting all this. Like I said, cameraman Caleb, he kind of bailed on me tonight. If uh, <laughs> if this doesn't work, it just means that you won't be seeing me uh, take this one apart, and you'll be seeing the front axle being taken apart, and this one being omitted. But I'm pretty sure... I did look through the camera. I did look through the camera before I started, so I'm relatively confident. And I just feel like I need to talk <laughs> while I'm doing this, even though, uh, you know, it's kind of not difficult, just I'd rather just wrench, but get in there. Well, it's going back together pretty good though. Not not overly difficult. Not overly time consuming. And this is something that uh, should have been done regularly anyway. You know, when I race my uh, mud boss. <clears throat> You know, everybody says, 
tear it apart every every few races. Mm. I like to do mine once every month or so. Okay. Let's give this a wipe off. Okay. Put the wear at the bottom to match the the wear. The who what wear. And if you see me doing something wrong or stupid, let me know. I'll be the first to say I know nothing. I know enough to get in trouble. All right. What is that? Let's see. Let's see about the shafts. Are they the same? Shafts are a little different. Let me wipe it off. I don't know if it's going to make a difference. We're going to see. See the ends? We're going to give it a shot here. And if you can see, when I turn, when I turn this clockwise, that side is turning clockwise. So that means the transmission is locked. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. <clears throat> Two new bearings, brand spanky new. That one's on. Oop. Shaft's coming out, and that one's on. We get these in. Okay. The clamps. Oop. This one's got to go here. Okay. Where's the other clamp? Right here. Get on. It's not going on all the way. Why not? Okay, so now I'm going to guess that the shafts are backwards. If they didn't sink in all the way, if they didn't go one way, they got to go the other. That one goes in there. That one goes in there. See? 50 50 shot. That's why uh, I haven't hit the lottery. That is until tonight. Or, I'm sorry, tomorrow night, which is uh, the October, where are we at? Today's the 27th or 8th. Tomorrow's Saturday, so I think it's 29th. 
yeah, trying to, because Sunday is the 30th, and Monday is Halloween the 31st. And the kids will be doing their trick-or-treating. Just a few more steps, and we will be rebuilt. And I'll do the same thing as I did uh, with the transmission. I will I will get it set back in place uh, off camera. And on the next video, you'll see it in place. Look at that. Purdy, purdy, purdy. And I believe that goes in the front. Alright guys, I'm going to lock this one up. And we'll see you next time. Out!